and uh, we'll tell you what is different about them in a uh, piece we taped earlier. Plus, what else? Oh, John Ellis, local filmmaker. Sure. He said he could go to L.A., but why should he when he's like an institution right here? Yeah, and we'll see some scary stuff, sort of. Broadcast House Live is next. <laughs> That's a scene from StarQuest Beyond the Rising Moon. It's a space adventure, and it was the first film of producer John Ellis, who's a filmmaker who lives right here. He's a local guy. Look out, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Coming right out of uh, Arlington, Virginia, is John Ellis. And some of the work that you're doing is capturing uh, the attention, the imagination, and the bankrolls of some big people. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Good you. to have you here. Thanks, John. <laughs> But, you know, how did this all start? Because sci-fi is your thing. We're going to take a look at some of his other recent works. But um, is it really true that it was uh, while watching When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth? And in what year was that? I vaguely remember that myself. That was about 1971, I think. Uh, and uh, that was the first film that, that really fired me up that got me wanting to, uh, to make movies. And I made amateur films after that and uh, went to work for Marvel Comics for a while and uh, ended up uh, making my own films in the, uh, in the late 80s. See, he looks like such a, uh, you know, perhaps a banker mm -hmm. until you look at that tie. And then it's a giveaway. This is a guy who worked in, at Marvel Comics and makes sci-fi films. Why don't you go west with all the other big TV producers and, and, and movie people? <laughs> well. I like it here. I, I, I've been here half of my life, mm -hmm. and uh, and <clears throat> I, there's a lot of money here for one thing, and also Washington D.C. is the crossroads of the world. Uh, it's becoming more and more of the city in the world, the the international city, and uh, the the it's the uh, big fish in a small pond syndrome. There's 50 other guys just like me out in L.A. If I if, but if I'm here, I'm unusual. Yeah. Well, what are some of the places uh, that you've shot at here that you've taken your crew to? The last film, uh, Twilight of the Dogs, was shot in Upper Marlboro at a tobacco complex, an old tobacco complex up there that's falling apart. It looks like the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Laurel, Sand and Gravel. We've shot all over Prince George's County, thanks to uh, Gail and Gwen, the uh, film commissioner in uh, Prince George's County. And... Um, uh, gee, uh, Virginia Beach sure. at the State Military Reservation there for Invader. Um, all over Alexandria in D.C. Right, and a lot of the actors are, are local, or most all of them are local. Almost all of them are really? local actors. Yeah. You mentioned Invader. Uh, we found this a fascinating uh, storyline. A couple that raises two-headed dogs. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty amusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we, okay. we wanted to make an offbeat film that people could enjoy, and it was it aired on Cinemax uh, in December. So actually, it got the second highest rating, I think, on the on the Sci-Fi Network. Was that Invaders? That that was uh, oh, the, that. that was Starquest that we saw the clip. Oh, the from. one we just saw. Yeah, two point three percent of the viewing audience saw that film. Well, so cool. you you knew that there was an insatiable appetite for uh, uh, couples that raise two-headed dogs, and you simply filled that void with this particular film right here. Let's take a look at the, at a clip from Invaders. Invaders. I think this is where the tabloid reporter comes to the home of the couple that raises two-headed dogs. It sort of speaks for itself. Hi, Frank McCall. The national scandal? Yes, ma'am. Yep, Louise and I have all sorts of unique and unusual animals. Like the dog. The dog. The dog. The two-headed dog. A two-headed dog? We grow them. We're working on a three-header. <laughs> now, what I is, without insulting you, John, does this just fall into the cult category? A little bit. Yeah. We have a pretty big cult sort of following around the country and around the world. Uh, the films have gone all overseas and. Many of many foreign countries and uh, all over the U.S. As a matter of fact, I'm holding here uh, Galaxy der Zitzlosen, Gross Inter Intergalactische Aventur. Yeah, that's that's Galaxy of the Timeless in Germany, uh, a big intergalactic adventure. It's, that's that's Star Quest, the first film. And you've got the the Japanese version here. You've actually sold thirty thousand 
uh, video of Invader. Laser discs. Of Invader, yeah, it did mm -hmm. very well. They expected to sell twelve thousand in the United States, so it did almost three t almost three times. <laughs> Let's see. I wanted to be into a John Ellis film, and we're a big wig. Um, what do I do? Give me a call. Really? really? Yeah, you can. Get, I, I I put a lot <laughs> the of two of us. Yeah, I, I'm very careful to. <laughs> to Whoa! No, but we would have been perfect as the parents of the two-headed dog. We would have got out, off this couch for a couple of days anyway. Well, the the those <laughs> actors are very are, are local uh, people. Dave Nuttycomb, uh, the the, uh, the the male. He's uh -huh. he, you hear him on radio all the time. He's written for Bob and Ray and yeah. for a lot of people. And he's he's constantly on the radio uh, doing voices and. Uh, uh, Brown Cardwell is a local actress that teaches at Catholic University. Hey. And, 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 th and these people have worked in all of your films. We want to take a look at the most recent, which was called Twilight of the Dogs. It's kind of a cautionary tale about okay. the now demise is, of mankind. This is a rough cut. It's not completed yet. Ah. The, the film will be uh, complete uh, to, uh, in the near future, like in a couple of months. And it will be out later in the year and will be uh, screened at the Comic So a rough Festival. cut, what's that mean? What's missing? It? The, Music and you'll see splices and, su and such, oh. and there's there's music and sound effects missing, and it's not a final trim oh, good. on it. Okay. So, so we see uh, a work in progress here yes. from John Ellis. Yes. Let's yes. take a look. Let's see that one. Who am I? You are the reverend sir, beloved in the eyes of Jesus. You are the God's representative on the earth. And who are you? We are the deacons who serve God who is serving you. My brethren, Jesus smiles upon us. Amen! His Gosh, kind of a cult thing happening there. Yeah, we describe the film as uh, uh, David Koresh meets Mad Max. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and, and that was all local. Was that in Prince George's County that you filmed that? We shot it entirely in Prince George's County. It's, it's very exciting. It has... Um, it's a cautionary tale about how bad things could get in the, in the future if we don't watch watch out. Uh, you know, with I mean, people need to recycle, and you know, I mean, there's all of these problems: the ozone problem, uh, the, and it's also uh, an allegorical tale about um, a, a plague, a sexually right. transmitted plague in the future. So mm. you, you get the idea. John Ellis, a name to look for. Come in here local. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. It's been a pleasure to be here. Good. We wish you luck, and, uh, and especially when your films go to the Cannes Film Festival, which is this And don't forget, remember day. Robin and I. Parents of the two-headed you know, dogs. You, up, you, you'll be in the next Our film. Our people will I love that people. hair. Absolutely. Thanks, That hair thing she had on. Thanks a lot. That hair thing. Thank you, John. We'll be right back. Yep. See you, Robin. You play uh, Transportation for Broadcast House Live is provided by private sedans. The kitchen is decorated and furnished by Woodward and Lothrop. Flowers courtesy of Johnson's Flower and Garden Centers. Some members of our studio audience will receive promotional items from these participating companies.